Do you want to hear one of my least favorite sounds? Listen to this. Do you hear that? Do you know why that's one of my least favorite sounds? It's because normally when I hear that sound, I'm right here and I'm asleep and I'm at peace and I don't want to hear that sound because that's the sound of my alarm. It means it's time to wake up. And while I know alarms are necessary, they are simply not my favorite thing. So the reason I was thinking about this, the reason I was thinking about alarms and everything else is because I was reading this devotional and it was, re it was uh, on this passage that comes from Mark's gospel. And it's when Jesus is talking about the coming of the Son of Man. Um, and, and he says this in Mark chapter 13. But about the day or the hour, no one knows, neither the angels in heaven nor the Son, but only the Father. Be aware, keep alert, for you do not know when the time will come. It will be like a man going on a journey when he leaves home and puts his slaves in charge, each with his work, and commands the doorkeeper to keep on watch. Therefore, keep awake, for you do not know when the master of the house will come, in the evening, or at midnight, or when the cock crows, or at dawn. So, as I was reading that, the author said what I thought was a really interesting thing. He said, you know, when we hear passages like this, and obviously within the context, Jesus talking about the coming of the Son of Man, I think for us oftentimes what we do is our minds go right to the second coming. And we begin to think of that day when Jesus comes in his full glory and he comes and, and, uh, and is this great time of judgment. But the, but the author says, you know, when we look at that passage of scripture, maybe we need to see it a little bit differently. Now, now it's not to say that there's not going to be a time when Jesus will t come again. I mean, we still believe as Christians in that time of second coming. But he says, you know what? If we begin to think about it truly with what, we, what else we believe about God's presence in our life, he says maybe the point of these is not simply to be awake for some time that's going to come into the future. Maybe, perhaps, the encouragement is to be awake and keep alert now. Why? Because we believe that God is always with us. We believe that the presence of the Holy Spirit is always here. We believe that Jesus' command or his reminder to his disciples that I am with you always, even to the close of the age, we believe that that means that Jesus is with us always. So while it's not a denial of this idea that there might be this time or there will be this time of God coming again in his full glory in the person of Jesus, Perhaps we can look at these warnings as a notion of keeping awake, keeping alert. Be ready when that alarm goes off. Be ready when that moment when God's presence overwhelms you to recognize that God is with you in those times. You know, I kind of like that idea because here's the thing. Oftentimes when I would think of the second coming, it's, it's always like this frightful time for me when God's going to come in judgment. And, and, it, and it was, as a kid especially, it was always this really scary time. But the idea that God is with me always is not a frightening thing. It's a comforting thing. And so perhaps we look at a verse like this and we say, wow, keep alert, stay ready, be, be aware that God's presence is always there and you never know when that overwhelming presence will be there to surprise us in the work that we are doing and all that we are experiencing in life. So, while I hate that sound, you know that sound? <laughs> while I hate that sound when I'm sleeping, perhaps I need something else a sound, a sign, a, a symbol that I use to remind me that God is always there, that God is always with me, and that I am to be awake to the presence of God wherever I am and in whatever I'm doing.